Hello, Osmin. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I am fine, thank you. And you, teacher? I'm doing okay, thanks. How was your day? Uh, this Monday, are in my work. Okay, so on Monday you are in your work? Yeah. Good, good, nice. Uh, okay. How many hours is your shift? Uh, 24 hours. 24 hours? Yeah. Okay. And what is easier, daytime or nighttime? Uh, uh, in the two, day and night. So the, the two shifts are easy for you? Uh, excuse me, teacher. Excuse me, what teacher? The two shifts are easy for you? Ah, yes. Yes. Do you remember yeah. the meaning of the word shift? Turno? Shift. Ah, okay. The, yes, I remember. Okay. So do you prefer daytime or nighttime? For me, night, uh, uh, excuse me, for me, day. Okay. So everybody in security has 24 hour shift. Uh, mm. Everybody in security has 24 hour shift. Yes, everybody, yes. Okay. How much time how many years have you been a security guard? Uh, every time I work. How much time? How many years? Uh, 30 years. 30 years? <laughs> yeah. Long time. A long time, yeah. Half life. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Okay. Yes. Hello, Janet. Thank you. Janet Morales. Hello. How are you? Fine. How was your day? Uh, hot, but night. Good, good. You work uh, eight or nine hours? Uh, I work nine hours. Nine hours. Okay. Good. Yeah. All right. Luis and Ricardo, welcome back. Hi. How are you, Luis? Fine, fine. A little bit tired, but fine. Good, good. Ricardo, how are you? Hello, teacher. I'm so tired, but I'm happy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm tired too. But like you said, I'm happy myself. Okay. Do you got a lot of work today, did you? Uh, yes, I had a lot of work to do today. Yeah. Because it's Monday, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> do you have many classes online besides this one? No, I only have this class and another one from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Oh. So the rest of the day, I do administrative work in a call center. So after this class, you go to another class? No, no. 10, 10 in the morning to 12. Ah, 10 in the morning, 10 in the morning, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's not much, it's only four hours teaching. It's a part-time job, we okay. can say, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. But this is my, my occupation, this is my profession, English teacher. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's begin. What time is it now? 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Is it 8 o'clock exactly? No. What time is it? 
8.05, it's a little bit after 8 o'clock. Okay. Teacher. Yes, sir. I can say past 5 uh, to 8. One more time. Past, past 5 to 8. Maybe, I don't past know. Past 5 past 8, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 5 past 8. Okay, thank yep. you. Good. Okay. And what time is your live skill training? What time is your live skill training? Do you understand my question? Which one? <laughs> your live skill training. At 8 p.m.? At 8 p.m.? Yes, at 8 o'clock, sure. That's your life skill uh, training. Remember, English is a life skill. It's a life skill. All right, so it's at 8 o'clock. Do you remember the topics we covered on Friday? Hey, the bird to be past and the bird to be future. Okay, bird to be in past and bird to be in future. What are the three forms of verb to be in present? Am um, is are. Am um, is are. What are the two forms in past? Was, was were. And were. Remember, was, were. Was, were. Because where is donde? Were is the past tense of, of are. How do you say, donde estabas? Where, Where you? were you? <laughs> hey, let me put it here. Okay, how does he say? Where were you? Where, Where were you? Where, where were you? Where were you? Where were you? In terms of writing, the only difference is letter H. But in terms of pronunciation, uh, it's different. Where were you? Where were you? Where were you? Mm -hmm. Okay. And what is the, the future of B. Will and going to. Okay, will and going to. What's the difference between those two? Will when it's a possibility and going to when, when it's a fact. Right. Will if it's a possibility and going to if it's a fact, if it's part of your agenda. So you say going to. Good. What is the form of the verb? How do you say, te voy a contar algo? I'm going to tell you something. Exactly. I'm going to tell you something. How do you say, tal vez te voy a decir algo? Maybe I will tell you something. Exactly. Maybe I will tell you something. So it doesn't matter if you're using will or going to. Um, the form of the verb is always base form. Any questions? What are the three forms of the verb to be in present? Am is are. Uh. Am is are. Okay. Okay. So, um, how many tenses are there in English? Twelve. Twelve is correct. Twelve is correct. What is the function of the simple past? Uh, tell something that has happened. Yes, tell something that is history. Something that is part of the past. <coughs> you, use, uh, you use regulars and you use irregulars. 
Who remembers the difference between regular and irregular verbs? The termination. Which termination? Yeah. Uh, when it's regular, is an S, and when it's irregular, they have different. not not no. really. Someone else knows the difference between regular and irregular verbs. Okay, let, let me write it for you in the chat. Thank you. Okay, regular verbs. You add ed to the verb. Can you give me examples of that? Watch it. Watch, the past tense of watch is watched. Uh, watch. Another example? Work. Work. Mm -hmm. Work, the past tense of work is worked. Right? So those are regulars. What are irregulars? When you add ing. Not exactly. No. Or do you add s? We're talking, you use regulars and irregulars in the 12 tenses. But irregular verbs in past, they change. Change. How do you say comprar in English? Buy. Buy. What is the past tense? Well. Bought. Uh-huh. How do you say perder? Loss. Lose. Oh, lose. What is the past tense? Lose. Lost. Lost. How, how do you, you spell? Ah, oh, okay, lost. There's, yeah. there's the chat. Uh -huh. How do you say perdí tu número? I lost, I your, lost number. your number. I lost your number. Okay. How do you say perdí las esperanzas? I lost all the hope. I lost hope. Good. I lost hope. So, why am I telling you this? Ahorita los voy a poner a trabajar en pareja. Y va a hablar de cosas que usted hizo el fin de semana. If the action is regular, you need to add ed if you're using it in past form. If you're using irregular, then they change. Got it? And surf is irregular or regular? Regular. Regular. Uh, so, how do you say surf? Surfed. With the uh -huh. T sound. Uh -huh. Surf with the T sound. Okay, so let me do this here. Add a room. Okay, here we go. Talk about the things you did on the weekend. Good evening, Rose. Good evening. How are you? Sorry for the late. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm going to send you to classroom number two. Okay, what we what are going to do? Uh, we're talking about the activities you did on the weekend. Okay. Using past tense. Okay.
uh, in my house, in my home. Um, uh, I going visit my friend. Uh, are no se le escucha, teacher. Thank you. You went to visit your friend, Osmin? Yes, see. Sí. You went. I went uh, to visit my friend. Uh, I went to visit my friend. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Good. Uh, also. That's what about you, teacher? What did you do uh, last weekend? <laughs> uh, Saturday afternoon, I went to Santana. Santana. I, I have a friend in Santana, and when I have the time, I visit him. So we were there maybe like two hours. Uh, then we returned to Lourdes. And yesterday, we went to San Salvador. Um, uh, what else? And then we, oh, then we went to Colonia Costa Rica. I have a friend that he has a, a small business there. So we went to eat ice cream at his place and then we returned to Lourdes. Where's Colonia Costa Rica? Near the zoo. Near Sabulao. Yeah, ah. next to Barrio Morelo. Next to Barrio ah. Morelo. Okay. Right, right. <clears throat> So that was it. Uh, we came back about 5 p.m., I think. Yeah, about 5 p.m. Then I watched a little bit of, of Nat Geo. I like Nat Geo. They were talking about um, bodybuilders that they use. Uh, what's the name of the illegal injections? In Spanish, esteroides. I don't yeah, know esteroids. In English. Esteroids. Yeah, esteroids. Yeah, so it's amazing because, you know, like they were discussing the effects when because they have different types of esteroids. Some are normal, some are like more serious, and some are like, I mean, they're very effective, but they also cause internal damage, you know. And there is a guy that his heart is bigger because of all the asteroids that he uh, uh asteroids that he used in uh, uh in his life and what did they use for uh, this asteroid uh asteroids um asteroids. so you exercise so uh let's say you need four or five years to get big with asteroids less than a year and you're huge really wow but, but they take but they take pills or they are how do you say vacunar Injections or injections, injections. Yeah, injections, injections, right? Yeah, injections. Yep, yep. I have a question. None of yeah. you like the Super Bowl? Uh, I tried to follow it when I remember, but I forgot about the game yesterday. Uh -huh, because it was a huge event, but uh, uh, none of you say that watch the Super Bowl. No, I didn't. I didn't until <laughs> maybe later on, like about 10 p.m., a friend posted a, a picture on Facebook says, oh, I'm here watching the Super Bowl. I said, oh my God, I forgot the Super Bowl. Who won? The Buccaneers. Uh, right? Buccaneers. Uh -huh. Oh, and, and who was the other team? Um, Kansas City. Kansas I don't City. Know. I don't remember. Okay. Chief, Chief, Chief the Kansas City. Chief. Oh, the Chiefs. Yeah. Chief. Okay, yeah. good, good. Yeah, I, I like... Um, major sports events like like the Super Bowl you know it's it's worth watching it how do you say in temporada regular regular season oh uh -huh. in, re in regular season you don't watch uh, no no American football. no I don't watch football that much okay. however if if I if I'm switching uh, the channels and I see a football game, I watch it. Yeah. Uh, what about soccer, teacher? Do you like it? No? Uh, I usually watch soccer if it's the World Cup. Uh, every four okay. years. 
When El Salvador may be go, teacher. No. Whether El Salvador is present or 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 absent, I I, I watch the the games, you know. Okay. And and I usually check in, uh, Salvadorian soccer too, you know. I used to go to the stadium a lot. Not anymore. Yeah. All right. So let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, we're still missing four people. Oh, they're coming back. All right. Any questions on uh, any questions about how to speak in the past tense? When I say I, is I was or I were? I was. I was like, I was in Santa Ana, I was uh -huh. in... Right. Okay. I was in my home, different things. All right, questions or comments? No. All right. The past tense, the past tense is so difficult, the pronunciation. Right. Uh, the past tense, uh, when you're using regulars, it's not no, only it's about, not. oh, you use ED. Uh -uh. Yeah. You use ED, but there are three different sounds for, for the ED. You have worked, mm -hmm. played, and wanted. Three different sounds. Maybe the most difficult is worked, 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 worked. <laughs> Right, you know, uh, when we go to school, they usually tell us, okay, regulars and irregulars. Regulars, you put ED at the end when you're using the past tense. Irregulars, the form usually changes, and that's it. But they don't teach us the pronunciation. Let, let me see if I have a document in this computer, because this is not the computer that I usually use. But I'm, I'm sometimes I get no, I don't have that folder here. But um, sometimes I, I get tired of bringing the computer from work and bring it back the following day. No, I don't have it here. Let me see. Let me see. ED. right here can you see that document yes it should. okay take a picture of this take a picture of this you're gonna use this the rest of your lives can you share on whatsapp teacher please? sure sure right Thank now Uh-huh. Let's see it. <coughs> now it's the image is not too clear. Give me a second. Paint, paste. Save and desktop. Okay, so let me explain. Okay. Here you see the left side. Yes. In, in the left side, you have the termination of the verb. 
right? Yes. So, if the termination of the verb is any of this, then the ed will be pronounced like a T. So, helped, washed, and cooked. You don't say help it, you don't say wash it, you don't say cook it. You say helped, washed, and cooked. That's the first sound. The second sound is this right here. If the termination of the verb is any of these, then the ED is pronounced like this. So you will say played, lived, and rained. Not play it, not leave it, not rain it. Eat. Played, lived, and rained. So any of these terminations or a vowel sound. What is a vowel sound? A, E, I, O, U. And then if the termination of the verb is D or T, then the E, D will be pronounced exactly the same way you write it. So waited, wanted, and needed. This right here, it's only the phonetic symbol. It's not the real pronunciation, it's the phonetic symbol. So waited, wanted, and needed. So when you say helped, that's only a sound. When you say played, lived, that's a sound. Number three is not a sound. That is an extra new syllable. Do you remember how you identify the number of syllables in a word? Distress. Not exactly. No. Hours. Um, no. If I say institution, institution. How many syllables are there? Four. Four is correct. Four is correct. How do you know? The number of vowels that you hear indicate how many syllables the word has. Institution. Institution. So, El Salvador, how many syllables are there? El Salvador, how many syllables? El Salvador. Four. El Salvador, four. Four is correct. So once again, the number of vowels that you hear indicate the number of syllables of the word has. So como el, si termina en D o en T, usted debe pronunciar esa E al final, Está creando una sílaba extra. You're creating a new syllable. Is it clear? Más o menos. Uh -huh. <laughs> what part Más. do you think is difficult for you? The pronunciation teacher. <laughs> Remember Because... which pronunciation you have to use. Yeah. <laughs> And that's why, that's why you need to expose yourself as much as possible to the language. As much as possible. Got it? Questions. Questions, questions. So let me give you a small exercise. I'm gonna write a few examples on the, in the chat. Uh, uh, and okay, how many verbs can you see in the chat? Five. 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 So you have rub, play, hug, waste, 
and work. work. So classify the past tense of each verb. What Do rub know? means? Huh? What rub means? Um, do you guys remember Big Vaporub? Yes, Rob is frotar. Aha, uh -huh. frotar. Yeah, there's another word. Ah, okay. Yeah, um, so Rob. Yeah, frotar. Yeah, frotar. Okay, so Rob, play, hug, waste, and work. Classify each verb according to their ED sound. So analyze the page that I'm sharing and classify each verb. Go ahead. Okay. For this exercise, it's necessary that you pronounce uh, loud, voz audible. Uh, teacher. Teacher. Yes, sir. When you say hug in the in past, it's with double G. Yes, that is correct. Okay. Double G. Okay, I, I just sent you the, the document that I'm sharing right now. What is the past tense of rub? Rubbed, played, hugged, 
word is word. Okay. Uh, do you guys see uh, Rosalena's answers in the chat? Yes. Yes. Do you have the same or do you have something different? Ahí les envía el chat, al WhatsApp chat, eh, la, la imagen que estábamos viendo con las reglas. Do you agree with Rose or do you have something different? Agree. Maybe the first one is uh, is like to the third one, teacher. Uh, we need to with double with, consonant. Uh, yeah, double B, the row. Right. Robbed. Sanitizer, please. Robbed. More. How do you say el terapista me frotó la mano? Uh, the therapist rubbed my hand. Rubbed my hand. It's double B. It's double B. Ya vamos a hablar de cuando se dobla y cuando no. So rubbed is correct. Played is correct. Hugged is correct. Wasted is not correct, and work is correct. Very good, Rosalena. What is the past tense of waste, class? Wasted. How do you pronounce the ed? Wasted. But only ed. How do you pronounce it? Et. Wasted. 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 Now, before the ED, what is the last sound that you hear? What is the last sound that you hear before ED? D or T? It's a T. It's a T sound. Waste. So, what does the rule say? if the sound is T or D? You have to pronounce ID. Uh -huh. You have to pronounce it exactly the same way you write it. The same way that letter E sounds in Spanish. You know, in Spanish, E is E all the time, all the time. So you say E, so wasted. How do you say desperdicié mi dinero? I wasted my money. Right. I wasted my money. Any questions? Este tema viene más adelante, pero la vida real no le dice, no le hablen de esto a, a esta persona ahorita, no. Le hablan y le hablan. So, but you guys are have a good foundation of the language, so that's that's cool. All right. Anyways, any questions about the explanation? <coughs> questions? Questions? No. All right, let's begin with today's topic. Today's topic. We are on page 29. We are on page 29. Are you there? Okay. I need a volunteer to read part one, the instructions, please. Okay, let me see, teacher. Go ahead, Rick. Okay, brainstorm about the different departments in your workplace. Where do you belong to? What do you do? Excellent. What Thank is you. the meaning of brainstorm? Do you get ideas? Get ideas, yes. Get ideas. 
Okay, which departments are there in your company? Which departments are there? Mm. Uh, sales, uh, accounting, I guess. Uh huh. How do you say recursos humanos? Human, Human resources. resources. Human resources. Uh huh. How do you say bodega? Warehouse. Warehouse. Very good. What else? Do you guys have a receptionist in your office? Yes. Also security. Uh huh. Security. Yes. All right. Any other departments? How do you say compras? Uh, I don't remember. Uh huh. Purchasing. Purchasing. What about mercadeo? Marketing. Marketing. Producción. Uh, Production. Yeah, production. Very good. Okay, so those are the different departments you have in your company. Which department do you belong to? Which department do you belong to? Mm, engineer department. Okay. Teacher. Yes, Ricardo. If I were in... Uh... Administration teacher, how do you say? <laughs> you are administrative. Uh, you're in the administrative area. Thank you, teacher. Uh -huh. And how and how do you say gerencia? Uh, admin. Uh, admin. Yeah, admin. Or you can say ma manage management. Management is better. Uh, management. Yeah. All right. Anybody else? Antonia, which department do you belong to? A qué departamento pertenece? Ben Sales. 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 Okay, very good. So, Luis works in the engineering department. Uh, Antonia works in sales. Uh, Ricardo is administrative. What about you, Rosa? I am in the warehouse. You're in the warehouse. Stephanie Martinez, what department are you in? I'm financial. Financial, okay. Janet Morales? Uh, administrative area. Administrative. Administrative area. Administrative area. What about okay. in... Which department are you in, Vilma? Vilma, Vilma. Administrative. Administrative. Yes. Administrative. Osmin, what about you? And security. Security. Security and research. Okay. Administrative. 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 Okay. All right. Any questions about the different departments in your company? How do you say departamento de una empresa, enterprise department? Yeah, the enterprise department, the company's department. Ah, uh, company's department, okay. Yes. How okay. do you spell companies, companies department? Exactly. Exactly. Yes, sir. All right, any other questions or comments? Okay, can you see my book on the on the screen? Yes, it Yes. Okay, so pay attention to, uh, to pronunciation. Number one is production. Number two is research and development. Number three is purchasing. Number four is marketing. Number five is human resources management. And number six is accounting and finance. Any questions there? 
Can you repeat me the pronunciations of three? Purchasing. Purchasing. In Spanish, what is accounting and finance? Accounting is contabilidad and finance is finanzas. Okay, thank you. Very good. Okay. Anybody else? Any questions about this? Okay, so this is what you need to do. Si usted cree que el, el segundo, la segunda definición, están hablando de marketing, entonces ahí en la parte de la definición número dos, usted le va a poner el cuatro. Si usted cree que la primera definición le están describiendo la número seis, Ahí le pone la número 6 en el espacio. Is it clear? ¿Está claro? Yes, sir. Oh, all right, go ahead, please.
give me a second. Voy a levantar un momentito, permítanme. Are you guys ready? Yes. All right. So let's do this. What is the meaning of production? Uh, control and supervise the, the production workforce and inventory. Okay. okay, good. Very good. Rosa, do you have research and development? Uh, develop, design new, or improve in exi existing products or process processes. Okay, develop, design new, or improve existing. existing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll put an asterisk. Okay. What about purchasing? What is purchasing class? Compras. Yeah, but what is the answer? What is the definition? Buy and acquire raw materials, material. production equipment, etc., for the use of the organization. Okay. What is the meaning of raw material? Materia prima. Yes, materia prima. What is the other meaning of the word raw? What's the other meaning? Crudo, yes, crudo. So you go to a restaurant and they serve your barbecue, but the meat is still red. So you say, man, this is raw. So raw means crudo, but in this case it's materia prima. All right, what is, what is marketing, Osmin? Do you have marketing? Or anybody else? Will be the chair, uh, research and identify what customer want and need on the right place. Okay, I good. I don't know. <laughs> okay, um, marketing, research and identify what customers want and need at the right place. Could be, could be. Yeah. 
What about human resources management? Create <laughs> select and train new employer from the right job in the company. Okay, good. Recruit, select, and train new employees for the right job in the company. Good. And what is the last one, class? Accounting and finance. Anybody? Uh, keep the financial record of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. Okay, good. Keep the financial record of transactions involving monetary inflows and outflows. Good. Very good. All your answers are good. All your answers are good. Excellent. Any questions or comments? Yes, teacher. What is the meaning of inflows and outflows? Inflows. Anybody knows inflows? Entradas de dinero. Uh -huh. Y la otra podría ser salida. Ajá, entrada y salida de dinero. Uh, gracias. Gracias. Right. Thank you. Any questions? How do you say presupuesto in English? Budget. Budget. Yes. How do you say ganancias in English? Starts with letter P. Profits. 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 Ahorita lo vamos a poner en el chat. Profit. This word, profit, is a... Uh, um, what do you call it? It's a word, it's part of vocabulary, not only of a company, but also vocabulary that people use every day. Profit. Good. Anything else? Questions or comments? No? Okay, now we go to part three. I need a volunteer to read part three. <clears throat> Explain to a partner what activities you and a coker do in your department. Thank you. Thank you very much. Explain to a partner what activities you and a coworker do in your department. So, me imagino que usted trabaja con otros compañeros. Y si digamos por alguna razón usted está trabajando solo, piense en alguien de su trabajo y explíquele a su compañero qué es lo que ustedes hacen. So in my case, um, I prepare classes, I pass exams, and I correct students' mistakes, for example. Then my supervisor, you know, she checks uh, my lesson plans. She checks that I send the grades on time and different things. So tiene que hablar sobre usted y también tiene que hablar en tercera persona acerca de él o ella. Y otra persona que está en su departamento con usted. Any questions? Vamos a pasar... Lista antes de irnos a esa actividad. Okay. So when I say your name, please say present. Alicia Hernández Monge. Absent. César Argueta. Absent. Claudio Osorio, absent. Stephanie Martinez, present. Thank you very much. Jacqueline Martinez, absent. Jessica Escamilla, Jessica Escamilla, absent. Catherine Hueso, Absent. Luis Martinez. Present. Present. Maria Esther Castillo. Absent. Maria Gabriela Ramos. Absent. Marta Alicia Monge. 
Marta, Marta. Absent. Huh? Marta Araceli Rodriguez. Present. Thank you. Osmin Baires. Present. Thank you, Osmin. Okay. Antonia Rodriguez. Present. Thank you. Rick Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you. Roselena Salgado. Present. Thank you. Rosemary George. Absent. Sandra Carolina Monge. Sandra Caroline. Absent. Vilma Sorto. Vilma, Vilma. Thank you. And Janet Morales. Present. Thank you very much. Excellent. All right. So, va a hablar acerca de lo que usted hace y va a hablar de alguien más en su departamento o si quiere ir a uh, incluir a alguien de otro departamento, está bien. So, no se les olvide poner present en el chat. Are you guys ready? ¿Listos? ¿Listas? Add a room. Recreate. Recreate. Hey, ready, picture. Ready. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's do this. How do you spell it? ¿Cómo se escribe? Eh, co, cotes. 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 Quote. Uh, ah, cotes. cotizar. Ajá. Quotes. Ahí está, quotes. Ah, quotes. Ya, yeah, quotes. Sí. Uh, quotes. Y hacer facturas que era... Uh, do invoice, ¿verdad? Make, make invoice. Ah, make invoice. O solamente puede decir invoice, que significa facturar. Ok. Uh -huh. Esa no se me olvida, pero cotizarse. Ok, very good. Nice. 
Hey, teacher, how do you say informes? Informes. Reports. Reports. Ah. Report. <laughs> Um, make a lot of letters and send the lot and send uh, many emails. Teacher, how do you say covers in English? <laughs> Collection. Collection. Collection is, is departamento de cobros. Cobrar, usted dice collect. Como cobranza, teacher. Ya. Yeah. Y el, el área de cajero, teacher, ¿cómo sería ahí? Cashier. Cashier. Cashier, yes. Cashier. Yeah. Teacher, y en el caso de que es ventas, envío de ventas, porque verdad que la traducción no sería sense sales, ¿no, verdad? Um, depende qué clase de ventas son. En el caso de usted, Marta, ¿qué clase de ventas sería? Son las ventas que se, por ejemplo, son las ventas que se han realizado durante eh, un día anterior. Ok. Entonces, usted, eh, ¿qué es lo que envía en sí? Eh, nosotros tenemos un reporte que es un formato. Entonces, por decirlo así, mañana yo voy a ir a enviar la venta, lo, de la, lo que se vendió en tienda, lo que se vendió de gasolina especial regular dice lubricantes y baterías. Okay. Yeah, so you, you send a, a sales report. Un report que lo hace, ¿verdad? El que hace. Yeah, you send the sales report. Un reporte de venta, Matiche. Yeah. Sales. Vamos a borrar la otra. Sure. Thank you, teacher. All right, very good. Thank you. Good. information about the company and um, this is my activity about my work. What do and, you work? In cooperative. Cooperative. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and the activities about my my parents, partner. Partner. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And she's a share doing to a content for.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, any questions? No, teacher. How do you say digital in English? Type. 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 How, how do you say llevar cuentas? Keep track of accounts. Keep, keep, keep track. Oh, okay. Ahorita se los escribo. Keep track. Keep track. Mm -hmm. Keep track of. All right. Keep track of accounts. Yeah, keep track of accounts. Type and touch type. What type means? Do you see a uh, type and touch type? What's yes. the difference? What type means? What's, what's the meaning of type? Digital. Digital. What about touch type? Uh, uh, digital in un teléfono. No. Uh, to, um, <laughs> I don't, I can express myself. <laughs> okay, listen to this. I am typing. Look at me, look at me. I'm typing. Where are my eyes looking at? To the keyboard. To the keyboard. Now, I'm typing. I'm touch yes. typing. So the difference is type is when you're checking the keyboard. Touch type is when you're very experienced. Ah, you don't you're, see the you don't see the, the keyboard. And you don't see the keyboard. You're ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So after many years of typing, you know, people develop that okay. skill, which is mm -hmm. really good. When you apply in certain um, jobs, they ask you how many words per minute. Can you type? How many words per minute can you type? Mm -hmm. 20 words, maybe. <laughs> I'm not a good typer. I'm not, I, I'm not good at typing. Do you remember Hunting Pack? Let me hunting write Hunting Pack, no. Okay, Hunting Pack. Hunting Pack. Okay. What is the meaning, teacher? Hunting pack is when you are very slow when you're typing. You go like that. that. <laughs> that. That's hunting pack. Okay. <laughs> yep. All right. Any questions or comments, hunting. people? Hunting. All right. So look so, at it. Yeah, so, go ahead. Hunting pack is like a nickname when you're too slow to type. Exactly. Uh huh. Okay. Yep. Okay. Let me write this. Do you guys remember question words? What are the question words? Does and do? Not exactly. WH questions? Yes, Maybe WH. What, where? Yes. Which? Okay. Where? Which? How do you say cuando? When. When? Okay. What? How do you say quien o quienes? Who? Who? Uh, two, four, five. Um, where, when, who, what, how? how, we need one more. Which? It's already there. No. Oh, why? No. Why? All right. So those are question words. The name is literal. 
Yo le digo, fíjese que perdí el dinero. ¿Cómo me preguntará usted algo acerca de eso? Uh, where did you lose the money? Where? Where? Fíjese que perdí el dinero. What would be another question? Uh, How do you say como in English? Oh. How did you lose the money? But only only the word. Say where? How? So look, we have a birthday celebration. What would be your question? Where? Where? When? When? Uh huh. O si le digo, adivine quién vino. Who? Who? Yeah. So, todas esas, cuando usted las pronuncia, automáticamente usted está preguntando algo. Relacionado a lo que anteriormente usted dijo. Where, where, how? And all yeah. that. All right. So, let me ask you. When do we use where? When, when it's a, pla it's a place or date. Exactly. Where is for places. So if I ask you, where are you from? What will be the answer? I'm from El Salvador. I'm from El Salvador. So la respuesta siempre tiene que venir relacionada a un lugar. From which, which do you prefer, red or blue? What is I, the answer? I, I prefer the color. color. Blue. Red. Okay, I prefer red, I prefer blue. Su respuesta está relacionada con opción. What about when? When were you born? When were you born? I born. I was born. I was born. Yes, Rose. I was born, I was born in San Salvador. Uh -uh. When were you born? Ah, I, I was, was born, born in August. Okay, I was born in August. August what, Rose? I was fifth. Oh, August fifth. Okay, good. So if I ask you, when is your English class? When is your life skill training? All week. Okay. All week. Monday to Friday. When do you start? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. So, el when, en español cuando decimos cuando, estamos hablando de fechas. Si queremos hablar de horas, le dice a qué horas. Pero en inglés usted puede decir when y la respuesta puede ser con fechas o con horas. We can just say what time, teacher, in this case. Yeah, you can say what time. Exactly. So you said, okay, it's 9.25. When do we finish the class? 10 p.m. At 10 p.m. At 10 p.m. Exactly. So no espere oír a la gente decirle what time. So when también para cuando está pidiendo hora. Ok, what about what? Uh, what is your name? Ok, what else? What? Uh, what else? What else? Good. Another one? What color is your blouse? Okay, what color is your blouse? Mm -hmm. What is your favorite food? What is your next destiny on vacation? What kind of music do you like? What kind of music do you like? What, what are... more? Big? No. What's what, are... what is more big? What is the biggest? Uh, the grande big? No. Yeah, big, bigger, the biggest. Yes. What is okay. the biggest? What is the biggest? Uh -huh. What is the biggest state in El Salvador? <laughs> what is the biggest state? San Miguel. San Miguel. Is it San Miguel? 
Chalate? Maybe. <laughs> I think it's Tao Nyo. Tao Nyo. So, Biggest. So, you say Biggest. Do you remember the restaurant Biggest? Yes, sir. Yes. ¿Qué significa eso? El más grande. El más grande. Sí, so, en otras palabras, el mejor. Yeah. Ahí por Aguilar dicen que todavía hay un Biggest. Is it true? Sí, teacher. We had one. Too. Good. The last one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The hamburguesa. <laughs> yeah. The French fry. The French fry is better no? than um, hamburger. Okay. In Santa uh, Tecla have a uh, other biggest. In Santa Tecla. Yes. What is part of Santa Tecla? For the uh, Plaza Malta. No, no, the Plaza Malta. It's. Por ahí por la libertad. Ya le digo, espera. Okay. <laughs> okay. Teacher, yeah. Is correct say uh, the more little? Uh, no. Okay. El más pequeño? What is, what, what is the more little? No. What is the no. smallest? Uh, uh -huh. What yeah. is the smallest? El más pequeño. Uh -huh. Okay. What is more? Okay. Okay. So, fíjese bien. Cuando decimos what... What is general? What color? What food? What music? What country? Se mezcla con todo. Por eso se le llama que es general. Is, okay. What about who? Who is your best friend? ¿Con qué me va a responder usted? Who is your best friend? The name? Exactly. The name of what? Of my best friend? Okay, so the name of a person. Right? Okay. Okay, what about how? How did you learn to play soccer? Okay. So what is the answer in that case? Uh, I took lessons. I took lessons. Tomé clases. Tomé clases son... Maneras de hacer algo. Ways. Manners or ways. And then we have why. Fíjese que mañana no voy a venir. Y usted me dice why. ¿Con qué le voy a responder? Because I work. Because oh, yes. I work. Exactly. Because I work. Exactly. Yes. So, each question word, cada WH tiene una función. Y cuando usted las pronuncia, usted está preguntando algo. Y por eso le llaman question words. Any questions? Se le llaman question words y también se les dicen WH. WH words. Pero el question words es más exacto porque no todas son WH, pero sí todas son question words. Questions or comments. Okay, so look here. Mm -hmm. Are we okay so far? Estamos bien. Yes, yes. All right. So, this is the introduction. Ya vimos cómo hacer preguntas con do it does. Pregúnteme si me gusta salir. Uh, are you like going? No. Do you, do, like you to like, go out? do you like to go out? Pregúnteme si me gusta do like, bailar. Do you like to dance? Do you like to dance? Pregúnteme si mi hermano maneja. Uh, you, your does, your brother, does your brother drive? Does your brother drive? Pregúnteme si mi hermana trabaja. Your sister. Does your sister? Does your sister? Does your sister work? So, en esas preguntas que de do it does, la respuesta toda, toda la vida va a ser sí o no. Do you speak Spanish? Yes, I do. No, I don't. 
Do you like chocolate ice cream? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Uh, do you work on Saturdays? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Siempre la respuesta va a ser un sí o un no. But yeah. today, yes. Podemos hacer un pequeño paréntesis en recordar una, donde usted me explicó, y fíjese que le soy sincero, ya no recuerdo, cuando uh -huh. le pregunté que por qué utilizamos un auxiliar do y a la par tenía lo que es un verbo. Por ejemplo, cuando decía, yes, I do eat. No recuerdo la, cuando usted me explicó eso, fíjese, le soy sincero. Ok. Eh, vaya, si digamos, mire ahí en el chat. Look at the chat. Sí. Dice, Rick, do you have, do you have siblings? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Imagine that the answer is negative. What would you say? No, I don't. Okay. Ah. No, I don't. So, pregúnteme si mi hermana sabe la verdad. Does your sister know the truth? Good. Does your sister know the truth? Very good. What is the answer, Rick? Um, <laughs> I don't know, teacher. Volunteer? Depends on your sister, right? <laughs> uh -huh. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't? What if it's negative? No, she doesn't. If it's positive, sorry. Ah, yes, she does. Yes, she does. Good. So, Rick, um, when you make a question, cuando usted hace una pregunta con do, la respuesta tiene que llevar do. Okay. Cuando hace una pregunta con does, you have to include does in the, in the answer. It's not necessary, it's not mandatory to repeat the same verb. Uh, Basta con decir yes, I do, no, I don't, y ahí ya va incluido la pregunta que le están haciendo. Okay, teacher, thank you. Got it? Good. All right. Any questions, anybody? Fíjese bien. What do I do? Where do you work? When do we go to meetings? How do they plan the marketing? What time do you take breakfast? Todas esas preguntas ya no son con do y does. Todas inician con un WH. Entonces, la respuesta es imposible que sea sí o no. Porque están siendo bien concretos en preguntarle algo. What do I do? Where do you work? When do we go to meetings? How do they plan the marketing? What time do you take breakfast? So en todas, le tiene que dar una respuesta bien positiva. La respuesta no puede ser sí o no, como anteriormente, porque aquí ya estamos pidiendo más información más exacta. Questions. Si, si usted se pregunta, what do I do? ¿Qué está preguntando ahí? ¿Qué se está preguntando usted? ¿Qué hago? ¿Qué me dedico? ¿Qué hago? What do I do? Entonces usted, digamos, está en una situación un poco difícil. Dice, what do I do? ¿Qué hago? Where do you work? What's the answer? Hey, I work in a company. I work in a company. When do we go to meetings? Three times a week. Three times a week. How do they plan the marketing? ¿Qué preguntan ahí? ¿Cómo hacen la estrategia de marketing? So, cuando usted responde, usted va a responder según el WH. Si yo le digo, where do you live? ¿Qué clase de respuesta me va a dar? I live in San Salvador. Ok, la respuesta siempre va a ser de un lugar. Digamos, usted está molesto y le pregunta a su supervisor o su jefe, why do you say that? ¿Qué le pregunta ahí? 
¿Por qué dices eso? Pero usted va a responder con una razón, con una justificación, con cualquier cosa. How do you say CIA in English? Chair. Chair. Pregunté cómo, usted me respondió chair. Any questions? So, fíjese bien. Look here. What is the structure here? Okay, right there. Fíjese lo que le he puesto ahí. WH plus do and does plus subject plus verb plus complement. Si usted sigue esa estructura, usted me puede hacer mil preguntas bien uh, construidas. Recuerde que el sujeto va a decidir si usted va a poner do o does. Sometimes do, sometimes does. ¿Cuál es la forma del verbo? How is the verb? Base form. La forma del verbo siempre va a ser base form, porque estamos hablando en presente simple. Y como es pregunta, aunque lleve tercera persona singular, he, she, it, el verbo se mantiene base form. No importa si usted ocupa do or does, the verb is always base form. Questions or comments? Si yo le digo, I live in Lourdes, ¿qué me habrá preguntado usted? Where do you live? Where do you live? Where do you live? Yeah. Okay. ¿Qué me habrá preguntado si yo le digo I work from Monday to Saturday? When do you work? When do you work? When do you work? Yes. So exercise five. Usted va a crear preguntas según las respuestas que le dé el libro. Questions. So please make the questions.
what is the people? What is what was people in the factory? Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. I have to write a report about the production every day. Rosalena, what's the answer? I think that is, what do you do? What do you do? Okay. I have to write a report about the production every day. Someone else, another option? Um, you can say, what do you have to do tomorrow night? Okay, what do you have to do tomorrow night? Good. Anybody else? What do they have to do every Friday? What do I have to do every Friday? Good. Anybody no. else? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? What else? Vilma, do you have something for number one? Vilma, Vilma. What do you do? What do you do? Good. All right. What about number two? I work in the blue building. Where do you do the work? Where do you do the work? Good. What else? Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? Uh huh. What about number three? Maria and I start working at 10 p.m. What time? How? What time do you work? What time do you work? Very good. I know can you off. say? Can you say when do you start to work? Yeah. When, mm -hmm. do yeah. when do you start to work? Yes. Okay. Excellent. Anybody else? All right. What about number four? We design and others create a new product. What are your tasks? What are your tasks? Good. Anybody else? 
What do you do in the company? What do you do in the company? Very good. Someone else. Uh -huh. Anybody else? And number five, they have a meeting because uh, we have to talk about the inflows and outflows. Why do the, uh, I'm sorry, why do they have meetings? Why do, why do they have meetings? Good. Something else. Can you say why they have a meeting on Saturday morning? Sure. Why do you have a meeting on Saturday morning? Yes. No, no, no. Why they have? Why do they? Uh, why do they? Okay. Yeah. Why do they? Yes. Now, in a real life conversation, you can omit do and doesn't, you know. So, like I told you guys, grammar is a sub skill. What is sub? What is the meaning of sub? Uh, Sue? Uh -huh. And what's the meaning of Sue? Uh, como adicional, como bajo. Bajo, yeah. So, uh, imagine you're eating ice cream and I ask you, like it? <laughs> like it? Hay, hay diferentes formas de hacer preguntas en inglés. Entre ellas está la categoría de las preguntas de intonación. Aunque vayan mal estructuradas, usted debe de ponerle el tono de una pregunta y la otra persona va a entender que le está preguntando algo. O usted viene tarde a su casa y ve a su pareja algo seria. Usted dice, angry? Angry? What would be the correct form to make that question? Are you angry? Are you angry? Right. Sé que hacemos una contracción ahí, teacher. No, no es una contracción. Ahí lo que está haciendo es hacer una pregunta gramaticalmente mal estructurada porque una angry no es una pregunta. Angry is an adjective. Sí. ¿Me explico. Pero con el tono que usted dice, angry, oh. me está preguntando, ¿estás enojada? Yeah. Un, un body language teacher. Uh, yeah, angry. O ve que su amigo ya va con la segunda hamburguesa y dice, hungry. Another one. So, like I said, en El Salvador, cuando usted uh, aplique algún trabajo, no se admire si le dan un grammar test. Un listening test. So, todo eso lo van, uh, lo van evaluando. Any questions or comments? I have a question. Yes, sir. And the answer, Maria and I start working at 3 a.m. The question is, when do you start? Because when do you learn in that case, right? Okay, let me see it. What number is it, uh, Luis? It's number uh, three. Number three, Maria and I start working at 10. The question is related with you. Uh -huh. So the question is, when when do you start to work? Yeah, when do you start work? Because do you is plural in that case? Yes. Yeah, because you when you say Maria and I, what personal pronoun is Maria and I? It's we. Oh, okay. Right? So the question has to be... Uh, with you. Uh -huh. And does is when it's third person, he, she, right. or it, right? Uh -huh. Yes, he, oh, she, okay. or it. Okay. Right. Questions? Questions, people? Okay. So let's, let's, uh, let's make Three, three questions. Three questions with WH. Why do you? When does she? Where do they? Any question that comes to your mind that you would apply in your workplace. 
cualquier pregunta que usted vaya a aplicar en su lugar de trabajo. Coge. Give me a second. Ya varios de ustedes uh, mandaron el, el midterm exam. That's good. So, si pueden hacerlo hoy o mañana, sería bueno. Porque el midterm it's after unit 2. Y no me había percatado de ese dato. So. Eh, eso sería lo de la unidad 2. Unidad 1 y 2. Yes, that is correct. Lo que está en la plataforma, teacher. Yes, sir. Una preguntita, teacher. Fíjese de que eh, yo estaba respondiendo y no me di cuenta que se me había activado el Capital cap Letters. Ok. Y ya, y ya cuando eh, le di enviar, y, bueno, al final me salía que todas las respuestas estaban incorrectas. Ok. Uh, recuerde, cuando sucede eso, tiene que tener cuidado si está ocupando mayúsculas, minúsculas, eh, puntuación. Entonces tiene que tener cuidado. Y el hecho de que, digamos, le quedó un 5, un 4, un 6 de nota, usted puede volver a hacerlo para subir la, la, el score. Ah, gracias. Eso no sabía. Más que me yeah. había afligido, mire. Yeah. <ríe> Thank you, oh, good. Voy a pasar lista con los que estaban ausentes. ¿Quién se eh, incorporó tarde? No. ¿Todos estamos bien? Yes, yes. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions? Preguntas? No? no. Okay, so we continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Haga las preguntas para mañana que iniciemos, pues uh, arrancamos con esa um, actividad. Any questions or comments before we go? Thank you very much. You. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yes, sir. You're doing good, Osmin. What? Okay, thank you. You're doing good. Yes.